In this video, we will learn about the three types of open loop configurations in an op amp. When we say open loop, it means that there is no connection between the output terminals and the input terminals. It also means that no feedback is given to the input terminal from the output terminals. So when op amp is in open loop configuration, it will simply act as a high gain amplifier. Now we will discuss the three types of configurations. First is the differential amplifier. Let us make this open loop differential amplifier circuit. For this we will take two signals. This is our first signal. This one is the second signal. This is 1 kilohertz signal and this one is also 1 kilohertz. Let us make some difference between this. Let it be 2 kilohertz signal. And now we will connect one end of both these signals to the ground. And the other part, other terminal of this signal will be connected to the inverting input terminal of an op amp and this one to the non-inverting input terminal of an op amp and this is the output so uh, this is the differential amplifier it's and there is no feedback from the output to the input terminals and let us simulate this we will observe voltage at this non-inverting input terminal and we will also observe voltage at this inverting input terminal and here we have output voltage at this point so let us observe this also in the graph we can see here when the difference voltage difference in the voltage is higher at the negative terminal then the output saturates to the negative side and in this op amp plus vcc and minus vcc is plus 15 volt dc and minus 15 volt dc so the output saturates either to the plus 15 volt or to the minus 15 volt suppose we increase this frequency to say let's be 6 hertz you can see here output saturates to the either positive side or negative side since the op amp amplifies the difference between two signals hence this configuration is called as a differential amplifier second configuration is an inverting amplifier in this configuration we give signal to the inverting input terminal so let us connect here this is and we are connecting to the negative input terminal and the positive that is a non-inverting input terminal is connected to ground so this is connected to ground let us simulate this and in this inverting amplifier we will observe voltage at this point and we will observe voltage at this point also we can see here in the graph that if a signal is positive then the output saturates to negative vcc that is minus 15 volt and when the signal is negative then the output saturates to plus vcc that is plus 15 volt so it is an inverting amplifier and we can see here that the output is 180 degree out of phase with the input signal the last configuration is a non-inverting amplifier and it is just opposite to this one let us make the non-inverting amplifier in this we will delete this branch even this branch and now here in this case the signal will be applied to this positive terminal so we will apply it signal to this positive terminal that is a non-inverting one and this inverting terminal is connected to the ground so this is a non-inverting open loop configuration let us simulate it 
and we will observe voltage at this point and at this point also here we can see that when the signal is positive then the output saturates to the positive side and when the signal goes negative then the output saturates to the negative side that is minus vcc in all the configurations any input signal that is slightly greater than the zero volt will make the output saturate to either plus vcc or minus vcc due to a very high gain of an op amp 